What up, my dudes? It's early in the morning, and I'm going to be fabbing up my bracket for my airbox for the Banshee. If you guys remember, watch my last video. We're making a bracket that goes from here up to the plastics. This is the piece of cardboard I made, which is just just made this so that I can trace this. That's the size it needs to be. And I was going to take apart this old wagon because the base is aluminum and uh, I was thinking about it and just the amount of work that it's going to be to take that apart is going to be probably not worth it if I had something that else that would work. Plus my dad used to drag me and my sister around that when we were kids and I think I just don't have the heart to take it apart. Plus my mom would probably kill me. Anyways, I found this. It's like an aluminum tray that probably my dad made or I made at some point in time but it's pretty solid and it's almost the same thickness as the pieces that came in fact I think it's actually the same with the airbox so I'm gonna take this bracket and this bracket is going to be the bottom portion because it's actually long enough I marked where my holes go I don't know if you can see them there there's two circles and this is long enough so this I will attach to the airbox like that. Well, it'll be straighter than that, but it's hard with one hand. And then these two bolt holes here will hook up to a piece of aluminum that's gonna be the size of that. So basically what I'm gonna do is just flatten this out and it should still be plenty strong. Um, if it's wide enough, I can actually make whole piece but I don't think it's gonna be wide enough so I'm gonna get the flatten in this I'll trace this out and then we'll get to cutting So here's where we're at. I know it's ugly. I know. <laughs> Probably a lot of you are thinking just to go out and buy aluminum. This is part of what I do. I love turning, you know, one thing into another thing. And believe me, this is going to be plenty strong. And these ridges are actually going to add rigidity, especially because it's going to be run lengthways. And um, after I made or flattened this out, I was looking at our template. And I think we'll be fine just using this one piece. So if I put this on here to right about there, I can shave this bottom piece off. And I think this is plenty thick. I mean, this template, it didn't really need to be this wide. This and this are almost an inch on each side, which is plenty to bold into. It's still gonna be really strong. And um, then I'll just make my crease, my fold, and um, I'll have to drill one extra hole in the air box only because, see if I put this on here, our holes are right here and here in the air box. So this one's off to the side. So I'm just gonna have to drill a hole right here and um, I'll drill another hole in the aluminum air box, but that's no problem at all. So I'm gonna shape this to this. I'll cut my U out and um, shave the bottom piece here and I'll just round the edges. 
and um, then I can get to drilling my holes. Um, and then I'm probably gonna sand this, make it look a little bit nicer, steel wool it, and um, <clears throat> then I can put my crease and uh, put drill holes in the plastic and mount it up. It shouldn't be too hard. Alright, so I have our bottom cut, and then to cut this U piece out, I'm going to use this tool here, it's called a nibbler. And if you can see this, the tip here, this, um, it, it literally just like eats away the aluminum. It's really easy to do, I'll show you how it works. So I think this aluminum is just a little bit too thick for the nibbler that I have. So that's all right. I can cut this with a hacksaw and then just use a, uh, a file. I don't know why this isn't focusing here. So we'll just do it the, uh, the old fashioned way. Alright, so here's our piece right here, shaping up pretty nicely, still looks pretty ratchet, but whatever. Place it on top of our template, see it looks pretty good. So yeah, I'm going to hit this with uh, probably like a light grit of sandpaper and then steel wool just to clean it up. And then uh, I'll mark where our crease goes and we'll bend it. So here's where we're at after sanding and steel wool. And I mean, I think it looks pretty good, you know, considering where this came from and what it looked like before. And um, once I put our crease in this, we bend it, it'll actually be stronger. So I'm just gonna mark with a pencil where the crease is and I'll bend it and then put it in place and mark my holes and then really it just needs to be drilled and mounted and it's done. Put our filters on.
There's my plate, got my holes mounted. Some birdies, made them nice and smooth. 